Okay guys, so I want to talk about this a very interesting chart in today's video and also I will talk about Bitcoin in general, what I am looking out for right now in the immediate short term but also in the bigger time frames i will explain you what i'm looking out for right now on the daily on the weekly time frame especially this week guys we have the cpi numbers coming out in approximately three days i will talk about that also in today's video guys and i will show you exactly what i am doing right now and especially how you can trade the next potential move on bitcoin guys all right so with that being said i am also doing still my day trading challenge all right guys the problem is right now that we don't have so much volatility so my account right now still around 2k i will definitely make sure to keep you updated guys and like i already said for everyone who also wants to follow my day trading challenge and who wants to get the opportunity to get my trade signals completely for free guys i will pick up to 20 or 30 random people who are just signing up with my link down below on bitget and start trading there it is a win-win situation for all of us guys you will get the deposit bonus up to eight thousand to us dollars and on top of that a 15 percent trading fee uh, yeah, you will pay 15% less trading fees, guys. So that's definitely a win-win for all of us. Everyone who is trading with real money, make, make sure to switch on BitGet and save some trading fees, guys, and get up to $8,000 deposit, uh, $8, deposit bonuses, guys. Also, let's try to reach 200 likes in today's video. Make sure to drop a like right now. And I will say, let's not waste too much time and jump straight into today's video, guys. So we are seeing this chart right now, guys. As you can see, over the weekends, we had not so much volatility. I got stopped out, actually, for my day trading account right here on $19,300 and I am currently waiting right now that Bitcoin is able to break above $19,600 again guys right this is what I am looking out for right now on Bitcoin in the immediate short term I have by the way still one small long trade opened on Bybit guys the link is also down below for Bybit to get up to $4,500 guys the second link for everyone who wants to trade on Bybit as you can see guys I have currently still one long position open with $355,000 this position is currently only about $350 in a profit so I closed one of my long positions right here around $19,350 and then I let my second uh, long position open right here, guys. And right now, like I said, I was looking yesterday actually at this resistance area and I saw already that we are not able to break out right now. Important is right now, guys, um, S&P 500. So traditional markets are also opened right now. Let's see especially over the next three days how the s p 500 will perform guys we have cpi numbers coming out like i said i will talk about that in a minute but first of all in the immediate short term it's quite simple guys so we had this symmetrical triangle right here i was actually talking about that also in my last video guys i told you that if you are getting a breakout we could finally see a potential breakout to above to approximately 20k right this was my previous target on bitcoin around 20k guys because this is basically just previous support probably flipping into resistance and then we had unfortunately guys a breakout but not in the right direction so we had a pullback basically all the way down to about nineteen thousand two hundred and sixty dollars this was a huge stop loss hunt guys and then we had some type of short-term recovery we retested this previous support again as a new resistance guys around 19.5k and right now it seems like bitcoin is not able to break above this resistance right here successfully all right overall overall i am still slightly more bullish than bearish guys because i think personally right i think personally guys a lot of people are currently way way <coughs> sorry guys a lot of people are currently way way too bearish i also believe that people who shorted bitcoin right i think most of them are currently taking profits already because i think the time to short bitcoin guys by the way was definitely right here so this was the resistance to short bitcoin around uh twenty thousand four hundred dollars this double top right here was basically the resistance to take a shot on bitcoin in my opinion right so everyone who shorted bitcoin right here for example right here and right here guys they already are taking profits always we had the same scenario guys so let me explain something real quick let me show you something real quick guys so the market is always moving in cycles right so if you're going into the bigger time frame right now we can see market is always moving in cycles downtrend right let me show it like that guys so we had this downtrend right we had this downtrend right here followed 
so what yeah like that so followed with the consolidation area right this is the consolidation area that we have right now like that guys this is the consolidation area that we have and then we will see probably guys if we are finally getting a breakout out of this consolidation area could be two things guys so if you are getting a breakout above twenty thousand and four hundred dollars right you have to understand guys that we will see a lot a lot of liquidations especially from short sellers because what happened the last what happened last time when we when we had the breakout above twenty thousand four hundred dollars guys we had basically exactly the same situation right here bitcoin was consolidating then we had this big fake out to get a lot of liquidity from traders right and then we had this huge breakout all the way up to about twenty two thousand and five hundred dollars so that they, they basically stopped out all the long traders right here because everyone thought that bitcoin is going lower and then we had this huge breakout to about twenty two thousand four hundred dollars in this short amount of time and this squeeze had us actually gave us approximately a 20% return of investment. So I think guys, if we are going out of this consolidation area that we are currently trading in between $18,300 to about $20,400 guys, right? This is where we are seeing a huge, huge potential breakout. Because like I said, again, guys, we have a lot of short sellers sitting still right here and we have a long a lot of long traders sitting right here so here are long, all the long people around um we have eighteen thousand five hundred dollars are where the long positions are currently sitting right now and we have at the same time here short positions sitting guys right so we have short positions around 20.4k long positions around 18.4k so what do you think will happen guys i think if we are getting a breakout above twenty thousand four hundred dollars guys we could definitely see a huge potential short squeeze because as you can see guys also on we i'm currently looking on coin glass guys look at this so we are seeing on coin glass right now the last um yeah liquidations for the last uh i think approximately four months or so right from july 2022 until october 2022 guys so look at this how the volume is drying out right now guys there is no volume there are no liquidations right now people are just looking for opportunities guys and you have to understand that a lot of people are positioning themselves right now for a trade even there is no huge opportunity all right guys this is why what well, this is because this is why i am currently also not trading so much because the biggest opportunity are always coming with, with volatility guys i always first of all want to see someone doing a big mistake before i'm taking advantage of that all right guys we are not a team it's always player for this player for this player player versus player guys it's always like that all right you have to understand that and what we are seeing especially over the last three or four weeks guys you can see that the liquidations are definitely going down from approximately two like right here 270 million dollars guys 200 million dollars 220 million dollars 200 million dollars and you can see for approximately three weeks that the volatility is going down and at the same time we have not a lot of people are getting liquidated right shorts and longs at the same time we have 30 million dollars liquidation 70 million at the peak basically then we have an average around in total around 20 30 40 million liquidations guys all right you can also see it if i'm going in the last 24 hours we have around um 24 hours symbol liquidations guys look at this egg we have more liquidations right now on xrp than on bitcoin this is unusual activity guys all right this is something you have to take in consideration right now so so the point that i'm trying to make right now guys is quite simple i believe that sooner or later you can definitely expect a big 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 volatile move for bitcoin for the whole cryptocurrency market because we just don't have any type of liquidations right now this is something you have to understand guys all right we have only 30 million 40 million liquidations in total guys and sooner or later you can definitely prepare for a big big volatile volatile move guys especially if we are like i already said if short sellers are getting liquidated 
I would say short sellers have their stop losses right now between $20,700 to about $21,200 somewhere right here. This is where we could see a potential short squeeze and this pr could bring us all the way up to about $22,400. On the other hand, if we are breaking below $18,400, right, then the next target, guys, would be first of all this kind of support around 17.5k. We have some support around $17,500, guys. And then the next one would be, no one knows, between 15, 16, 17k somewhere like that guys all right so we have like i said this resistance this support sooner or later one side will definitely get wrecked but you have also to understand guys like i said i'm currently looking for a huge opportunity right you have also to understand guys if the opportunity comes you have to be careful because we had this breakdown guys this is where i took one of my biggest long positions i made around 4k 5k profits on this one guys on this move because i thought already that this could be a huge potential fake out because market was already down a lot from 25k all the way down to 20k so i saw that and i thought already that this could be a huge huge potential um trap right i took the opportunity made a lot of profits so the next time what i'm trying to say guys if the price is breaking below eighteen thousand four hundred dollars wait and how the price is reacting if you are getting like instantly it dropped to about 16 17k all right then this st structure is broken but if you're only getting a small fake out and some sideways consolidation some type of price action like that then we could see a potential um fake out like we saw on this one guys all right but until that happens i will keep you updated of course obviously guys then we have this chart right here guys i want to talk about that because this is a very interesting one so guys what we are seeing on this chart is basically the overall bigger time frame two day time frame guys i don't know why he's using the two day time frame anyway this chart is definitely clean and what we are seeing on this one guys is quite simple so we have the long uh, we have the macd uh right here on the bottom we have the macd guys then we have the um moving 50 moving average right the blue line is basically the 50 moving average and then we do have after every in every bear market like i already said guys the market is always moving in cycles all right so we have one downtrend coming with one sideways co so let me draw it like that so sideways consolidation down uptrend sideways consolidation downtrend sideways consolidation uptrend right this is not the cleanest chart i know guys but you know what i'm trying to say so the market is always moving in cycles up uh, downtrend consolidation uptrend consolidation downtrend consolidation uptrend this is just an example guys of course the market can also move like that downtrend sideways consolidation downtrend sideways consolidation downtrend sideways consolidation uptrend this is what we saw for example on bitcoin on the bigger time frame guys because if you are looking right now on the weekly for example guys we can see on the weekly time frame this is exactly what happened for bitcoin right this we had those type of cycles we had downtrend look at this guys downtrend consolidation phase downtrend consolidation phase and right now we are seeing probably the next potential breakout towards the downside or towards the upside guys all right so you should this is what i'm trying to say you should definitely just prepare for that guys so anyway let me let me uh pull out the chart again so guys what we are seeing is the macd like i said and as you can see in every bear market we are following um with every downtrend there is some sideways consolidation until we are getting another breakout above the 50 ma line guys and you can see the last time in 2015 we had one 256 days of consolidation between 240 dollars to about 500 dollars also and then we had the crossing on the on the macd right here in 215 guys and then this followed with a huge uptrend all the way up in this beautiful channel right here to approximately i think it was 20k right 19,520k or something like that then again same scenario guys we had huge bear market all the way down to about 3.5k then sideways consolidation of about 76 days then we had again this crossover on the macd at the same time bitcoin was crossing the 50 ma line and this when then we had another small um short-term recovery to about twelve thousand dollars of thirteen thousand dollars or something like that and right now we are getting the same situation again guys look at the macd the macd is crossing again and this could be the indicator that bitcoin is probably going into some type 
of consolidation phase right here until we are getting the short term recovery guys and this is what i am actually talking about in one of my last video also i think right now it is way riskier guys to be not in bitcoin than to be to be not in bitcoin guys this is way riskier right now because most people guys they are still waiting on the sidelines in my opinion right now right most of the people are still waiting on the sidelines right now and are waiting for lower prices so that basically means guys if bitcoin is breaking out of this consolidation phase sooner or later you can definitely expect that this is where we are seeing a potential breakout all the way up to about 30k and this will result in a lot of fomo and a lot of people will start to fomo into bitcoin around thirty thousand dollars right otherwise if we are getting if you are seeing a continuation of this downtrend that we are having right now guys so if you're looking at it like that for example if you are seeing a continuation towards the downside and if you are breaking in th into this level around twelve thousand sixteen thousand dollars then we could of course go all the way down again to about 10k or so again or maybe 8k 9k or something like that i don't think i don't believe it guys i think we could actually see a potential fake out to about 14 15k everyone will say that bitcoin is going down to 10 and then we will see a very sharp recovery to about 30k again guys this is in my opinion the most most likely scenario guys and this is why i I wanted to talk about this chart right here because i think it is definitely a very interesting one macd is crossing right now we have a potential sideways consolidation coming until we have finally the next potential breakout guys so now guys let me let me talk real quick about some crypto related news before i'm talking about my next potential trade setups this is also something i want to show you real quick short-term holders and under six months were at multi-year low and owned just 23 percent of the bitcoin supply as of 31 of august right this could be seen in the graph below as highlighted by Misari. so as you can see guys over the last seven years bitcoin short-term holders bottomed six time with the following year always yielding positive returns so the number of short-term holders has historically been a leading indicator of bitcoin price peaks as bitcoin starts making new highs it gets into new cycles and attracts more buyers right so basically what this chart is just showing guys is that short-term holders who are holding bitcoin below six months are currently at year lows only 23 percent of them are holding uh, below six months and in the last price so in the in historical price section we had always scenarios like that guys i can open this uh picture real quick for all of you guys so as you can see in the last cycles we had some scenarios like that already and it, it was always the same scenario guys so this could be always a potential leading indicator right now for bitcoin or for the next potential bull cycle guys but this one guys is in my opinion the biggest and most important indicator maybe you don't Maybe you don't um, you don't have the same opinion as me, but in my opinion, guys, this is the biggest indicator. I am always looking at the Google Trends, guys. So if you type in Google Trends Bitcoin right now, guys, look at this. We are currently around 26 in October, bro. No one gives a fuck about Bitcoin right now. People have very if way different problems right now, guys. Look at this since November 2021, I think. Oh, where, where is it, bro? What the now it's june 2022 let me pull out the last five years all right last five years bitcoin google trends guys so look at this same scenario like in 2018 2019 2020 guys no one gave a fuck about bitcoin at all until we had the next bull market really and as you can see we have exactly the same scenario right now since november 2021 guys since may 2021 bitcoin peaked right here around 75 and since then the trend is definitely going down i don't want to draw like trend lines with support and resistance on google trends right now but anyway guys so yeah i think right now is a great buy opportunity especially for people who want to dollar cost average i already said that 100 times in my videos guys because like i said if you are missing out right now and just in case bitcoin is breaking out to about 30k you definitely don't want to miss out on this move guys okay guys so we have this week cpi numbers coming out in my opinion this will be the most important event over the next couple of months for bitcoin guys all right also for the traditional markets as you can see in approximately three days cpi numbers are coming out we had previous 8.3 percent forecast right now it's around 8.1 percent and in my opinion it will, it will be quite simple guys so if we are looking on the chart right now um look at this guys i think 
let's go into traditional markets let me explain what i'm expecting guys so i think if cpi numbers are coming out below 8.1 percent somewhere around 7.9 also then we will see probably some type of price action like that some type of short-term recovery retesting this previous downtrend trend line right here on 4100 until midterms guys in november this is what i think will happen probably if we are getting cpi cpi numbers below eight percent right otherwise if we are getting cpi numbers like expected or even higher right this is very important guys if we are getting cpi numbers like expected 8.1 or even like 8.3 percent what i'm not expecting i think it will be somewhere around 8.1 8 8 percent also then we are seeing more sell-offs guys more type of um selling pressure and maybe the next area of support would be the previous 2020 resistance in february guys around 3350 right here guys all right so this is what i'm looking out for right now in the next cpi numbers guys i will probably live stream this event so definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell right now okay guys in the last part the most important one what am i looking out for right now for my next potential trade setups let's not make it complicated like always we always want to try to keep it simple there is no magic behind trading guys um, i'm looking right now on this trend line first of all guys on the smaller time frame we are currently looking at the 30 minute time frame we are bouncing off this trend line right here perfectly at the same time we do have this resistance right here guys so we have basically you can say this descending uh sorry, sorry ascending triangle right like that we can say guys and if we are getting another potential bounce of this trend line guys right this could give us a potential long opportunity something like that for example i would set my take profit maybe somewhere around nineteen thousand six hundred dollars set my stop loss very tight around 19.3k for example and then take my profits all the way up right otherwise if we are breaking into this area right here and people are getting stopped out and liquidated especially long traders guys this is where i would take in consideration to get into a potential short position and then take my profits all the way down maybe around $19,000 or even let's say $19,200 and set my stop loss maybe somewhere around 19.5k guys like I said for everyone who wants to get the chance to get my uh, trading signals completely for free I will pick up to 20 or 30 people you have just to switch your account on BitGet guys with the link down below in the description 8k deposit bonuses 15% off trading fees this is a win-win situation for all of us guys so make sure to take advantage of that guys and with that being said let's try to reach 200 likes i know it was a long video guys but i just had to make a very quick update because we have some very important events coming up this week and with that being said guys i'm out see you for another one and peace